when they've tried to uplift people from poverty, when they've tried to take care of everyone, and it fucks over everyone, I want to see what they have to say. I want to see what oh, they have to say you, to their children. They, they, they won't. They won't say. They won't say anything different than everything they've been saying already. They won't learn a thing. They won't. I mean, we have. We have in the West. You know, we can blame everyone we want. We can blame the government. We can blame the migrants. We can blame the unions. We can blame. But we we have just become a deeply immoral society. We've become a deeply vicious society. We've become a society that self righteously pursues vampiric predation upon the young that uses babies as collateral to feed our materialistic greed that is happy to sell off the next generation of Chinese banksters in order to stuff ourselves with saturated fats in the here and now who grow obese on drinking the blood of the unborn. We have become a deeply vampiric and deeply immoral society. And, and this is something people really, really need to understand. It's not fundamentally the government that has failed. It is not fundamentally socialism that has failed. It is not central planning that has failed. None of that has failed. We have failed. We have failed. The people have failed. And people like you and I who've been speaking reason and, and truth to the, the ignorant and the powerful for, for decades, we have not failed because I have acquitted myself as honorably as I can conceivably have done so in this fight. I have taken the risks. I have pushed the envelope. I have challenged uh, people with challenging topics uh, for as long as the show has been running and taken the hits thereby, which is fine. That's part of the game. But we have become a deeply immoral society and we don't see it. And that is the fundamental problem of our immorality. We don't even have the decency to feel shitty about bending over the cribs and drinking the blood of the young. Like people will self-righteously shake their fists at government and say, go tax those babies, go sell off those babies. You know, people are appalled at the possibility, even the vague insinuation that abortion mills are selling off baby parts. Christ, how about the national debt? We're selling off entire lives. We're selling off entire futures, lying to 17 year olds and burying them in hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt, sometimes to indoctrinate them in shitty anti-market education, throw them out into the free market and watch them fail. Watch them never get a life started. We don't care about children being thrown into shitty government schools and being taught by blind, low rent ideologues. We don't care about all the crap they put in the food. We don't care about, oh, let's just appease the kids with sugar and let's buy everything in the supermarket which has sugar, which is basically everything in a box these days. We don't care. We don't, oh, the children are problematic. Let's drug them with drugs that shrink up to 10% of their fucking brain mass. Rather than change the system, we don't care. We don't care. We don't care about the young. We don't care about the future. We care about stuffing our fat fucking faces with taxpayer money robbed from the unborn. That's all we care about these days. And buying five more minutes of peace so we don't have to be troubled as we continue to stuff our aforementioned fat fucking faces. We don't care about what's noble, about what's good, about what's right. And the very concept of sacrifice seems to have been irradiated out of the Western soul. Maybe it was the grand exodus of K selected bodies in World War II. I don't know. But the idea of sacrifice? The idea of living within your means, the idea of honesty, the idea of having a conscience. When have you ever heard any of the boomers say, sorry, kids, we completely fucked it up for you. We got greedy, our greed ran away with us, and we fogged out of reality and pretended we didn't have the basic numerical skills that come with counting your fingers and your toes. We borrowed, we mortgaged, we got you viciously into debt, and there's nothing to show for it other than a vastly bigger government that's going to choke off your economic opportunities. We had freedom, we had low taxes, and we used all of that freedom and low taxes to beg, beg money from the government, beg free stuff from the government. The government went into debt, and now we don't even hand you a tenth of the freedoms we were handed. We hand you nothing because we hand you a gargantuan government, massive unfunded liabilities, massive debt, massive dem uh, deficits, demographic replacement. 
oh, and now we need even more than ever because now we're not even going to pretend to pay taxes. Now we just want free health care and our old age pensions. Fuck you very much. Yeah, I believe Ayn Rand called that unfreedom, where you've essentially thrown away freedom for security. And when you throw away freedom for security, you deserve neither and lose both, especially when it comes to government, especially when it comes to an institution where we can't, they can't even handle a pension plan, and these people want them to handle health care? They can't even handle building steps down the side of a park, as they talked about earlier in their show. So we have just become a deeply cold, selfish, materialistic, greedy, conscienceless bunch of vampires all maneuvering to feed off the state at the expense of the future. Yes. And when you stray far enough from reality, nature wipes you out. I mean, nature doesn't care. You know, if you think that that approaching train is your friend and you should run up and give it a hug, nature doesn't care about your delusions. I believe that's a Darwin Award. Well, maybe entire cultures can get Darwin Awards. So this is, I mean, this is the fundamental, the deficiency is, is in morality. The deficiency is, is in ethics. The deficiency is in empathy. Like instead of real empathy for the, the children in our societies, we have this pretend empathy for the migrants of other countries. We, instead of, instead of genuine compassion for our culture and our society, and, and, and instead of compassion for the millions of men, largely men, who died to deliver us our freedoms, instead of compassion for their sacrifice, we have sentimentality about mad schemes of diversity that won't ever work. And we'll do the exact opposite of working in the long run, in the long run. So this is the reality of where we are. We need a moral revolution. We need a moral revolution. And I have, I have my criticisms of Islam, but the idea that, that, well, we're just so much more moral and we're just so much better and we, we just, we have it all down as far as reality and ethics go, I could very easily make a case the exact opposite direction. And so, yeah, we better get our shit together and we better remember what it's like to have ethics and what it's like to have compassion and what it's like to have caring and what it's like to want to treasure all of the gifts that our ancestors died to hand us um because right now we are bleeding dry the bank we are bleeding out the capital that sustained our civilization and it's like our entire culture is like what the rich guy the very rich guy for real was once asked when he went bankrupt and someone asked him how did you go bankrupt and he said funny very slowly and then very quickly and that's how we go bankrupt as well, morally, very slowly, and then very quickly. So thanks everyone so much for calling in tonight. It's a great pleasure to chat with y'all. Please don't forget freedomainradio.com slash donate to help out this show. Come on, you know, there's nothing else like this out there. And we desperately need this out there more than ever. So please, freedomainradio.com slash donate. Thank you everyone so much for listening and for watching. Have a great night. I will talk to you soon.